Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying how much time passes between two given times. Our first problem here is to study how many minutes is it from this time till the next whole hour. And here we see... Okay, actually we don't need to know what time it is exactly. We just need to figure out the minute hand moving from here all the way over there, right? I can do that in several parts. I can first figure out that, okay, this much is two minutes, right? And then from this to this, there will be five minutes. And then from here till there would be half an hour. So in total we get the 30 minutes and five and two. 37 minutes, right? It's always a good strategy that you imagine moving the minute hand. Now let's look at the next example. Maybe you can figure out how many minutes is it till the next whole hour. Maybe you have just started, say, a math class and your class will end at the next whole hour. So how many minutes are left of the class? We can do the same thing and figure it out in parts, right? There would be one minute right there. And then from here, there would be 10 minutes, five and five. And then from here all the way over there would be the half an hour or 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, 41, 41 minutes. So most of the class is still left. And then over here, how many minutes pass from this time till 5.50? What time is it now? Oh yeah, Matthew, you're gonna tell me it's... Oh, okay, you're telling me it is 5.17. I thought he was gonna say that it's supper time. Five fifty will be when the minute hand is here, right? So we can again imagine moving the minute hand here three minutes and then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. So thirty minutes and three. Thirty three minutes. Can you think of another way of solving the same problem? If you were only given the numbers 517 and 550, you notice that there is the same hour, five hours. And so you look at the minutes and then you find the difference of 17 and 50. So you can subtract 50 minus 17, 33. Next one, from this time till 420. Now this time here, it is 303. Let me write it over here, 303. Until 420, notice that the hour changes now. Three hours, four hours, okay? In fact, there is more than one hour between these two times. Because if there was exactly one hour, then we would have 403. So it is one hour and some more, right? If we go exactly one hour, then we would have 403 here. And then we go from the 03 till 20 minutes. And you can subtract there. 20 minus 3, 17. So we would get 1 hour, 17 minutes, right? 